welcome to Dr. Kothana's teaching on systematic theology. Today's class is on angelology, which is very interesting, essential, and um, very need of the hour. Most of the times we try to discuss, study more on demonology. Of course, it is essential, but we also need to fill our mind with the right teaching on angels. The devil and the demons were created by God. And we're going to study that also in this bigger topic angelology because they were part of God's created angels once upon a time. Let's continue the, the Bible basics, the study and systematic theology and this big umbrella we are studying angelology. The study of angels. This is an introductory class. We are going to study a series of lectures. I think uh, I prepared about eight to nine lectures on this topic. Don't miss. Continue to learn from one by one. And uh, if you miss in one class, try to get that audio and listen. What image comes to your mind when you hear the word angel? Right now, I will say angel. What image or a picture come into your mind? Obviously, this kind of pictures come into our mind. An angel, in different places, different locations, we see these pictures. The common questions addressed in this series of study. When were the angels created and when did Satan and all the demons fall? This is one of the questions people do ask me time and again. Do angels have bodies? Are there different types of angels? Who is the angel of the Lord that is mentioned in the Bible? What are the limitations of angels? What about the possibility of angelic revelation today? What's going on in Genesis chapter 6? Now the the man the 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 chaos and the confusion that we see in Genesis 6. We are going to address all these questions. Angels do exist, my friends. Let me assure you. Angels do exist. They are the reality. And today also we see the existence of the angels and the angelic experiences can be seen day to day lives the life of our day to day lives and then we experience God's angel assistance even now. Billy Graham once said, I am convinced that these heavenly beings exist and that they provide unseen aid on our behalf. I do not believe in angels because someone has told me about a dramatic visitation from an angel as impressive as such rare testimonies may be. Even I do have some testament testimonies of the angels. But I don't believe on that. I do not believe in angels because I have ever seen one. Because I haven't. I believe in angels because the Bible says there are angels. And I do believe the Bible to be the word of God. I also believe in angels because I have sensed their presence in my life on special occasions. You know, I believe in angels because Bible says so. Bible is the word of God. Therefore, I believe in the existence ministry of the angels. But they are not to be worshipped. Angels are not to be worshipped. In some traditions, people worship, but that is sinful. Romans 1, 24 to 25 says, warns us about worshipping the creature instead of creator. 
angels are a created being, therefore we should not worship them. It is a violation of the first commandment to worship any manifestation of angelic presence. We are not to pray to angels, nor confuse angels with the Holy Spirit. No, they are created beings. We are not supposed to worship them. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 6 says, In the past God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets, and many times and in various ways, but in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son, the Lord Jesus, whom he appointed higher of all things, and through whom also he made the universe. The sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact rep representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven, so he became as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited in superior to theirs, the son superior to angels. What I want to say, the son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ is superior to the angels and uh, we need to worship him alone and we are not supposed to worship angels. The text continued to say, for to whom, for to which of the angels did God ever say, you are my son. Today, I have become your father, or again, I will be his father, and he will be my son. Verse well, 6 is, again, and again, when God brings his firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him let all god's angels worship him let all angels worship the lord jesus christ even the fallen angels are obligated to worship the lord jesus christ but they rebel they continue to rebel they continue to disobey the lord jesus they have an eternal punishment to the fallen angels the demons and today we are studying the angels it's a comprehensive subject, a big picture, and we need to continue to study and ponder on different issues. And here I am, first lecture. And today, we, tomorrow we come back and um, continue the lesson on angels. It is an amazing subject. You will thoroughly enjoy it. May God bless you and have you. And uh, may God give you the peace of mind and uh, give you his angels assistance. Let me pray for you before you depart. Father, we thank you today. I bless my friends, encourage them, motivate them. There are angels around us who are ready to assist us. And we thank you for your provision. They are not greater than you, but they are created with a purpose to assist us and to worship you. And today, we glorify your name and we worship you with truth and in spirit. Bless my friends who are watching today. Give them grace and peace. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Keep watching Dr. Potana's lectures. You can subscribe to my channel, Dr. Potana 